just look at the person you hate, your heart boils. You go to a party and the idea is to enjoy and revel in the party. But you see somebody whom you don't like, your whole mood is gone. Why that fool is here? Who is inviting him here? I don't know how can they invite that girl here. It's really terrible. Why should she be here from all people? No, I'm going. Finish. Or you go there to the place and you see somebody, you, do, you don't see somebody whom you wanted to see, you like. Therefore, I am also going. So when the poison kills the person when it goes into the system, only after you eat it and take it inside, this vishaya visha, this poison of the sense object, which you have made a poison because of your definite like and dislike, very look of it will kill you. That is why people are so miserable in life. Whereas a person who has freed himself from this vishaya asa, has not freed himself from the sense object, but the vishaya asa, that craving, that dependence, who has freed himself from such a mind, muktaye kalpate, muktaye kalpate, is ready for the absolute liberation, absolute freedom. Now you have got a relative freedom over the sense object world. Now you should get the absolute freedom. I am free, I must look myself. But if you don't have this freedom from this hold of like and dislike, it will be difficult. Why? Apata vairagyavato mumukshun bhavabdhi param pratiyatu mudyatan asagraho majjayate antarale nigruya kanthe vinivartya vegat Apata vairagyavato mumukshu Mumukshu means what? One who is desirous of liberation. Mukshyo me bhuyati cha. Let me be free. The person is desirous of freedom. But there is no dispassion. There is no freedom from like and dislike. Looking for freedom and continuing with bondage. How can you handle it together? Are you getting that point please? You want to be free? Yes. But I have a definite like and dislike. What type of freedom? Understand. If you have definite like and dislike, that is obsessive like and obsessive dislike, you don't need anybody in the world to torture you. You are good enough for yourself. A person who has anger, should he need an external enemy? The person who has heavy moods, heavy reactions, heavy reacting mind, do you need anybody outside to torture you? No. Your mind is good enough to send you to prison forever. Because you are a prisoner of your own thoughts, you are a prisoner of your own emotions. Are you getting that? And into this prison, no judge outside can throw you, no political government can need to throw you. You have banished yourself into your very personal prison. In fact, the dark cell where nobody else has entry. You are sufficiently punished. By whom? Not by others, by yourself. Think. So one who, mumukshu, desires of liberation, but apata vairagya. Apata vairagya means not fully dispassionate, but apparently dispassionate. Only little bit of dispassion. I know, you know, chocolate will not solve the problem, but you know, can I say chocolate doesn't have happiness? I know money is not security, but you know, we should have some money, you know. I know this food is not the ultimate, but how can somebody not give me this food or that food? I must have that food. Hey, look, if you have this type of compromising attitude, don't worry. You shall be full of problems. You shall be full of problems, you know. At least minimum things I should have, you know. And what is this minimum? Think, think. Nowhere nobody ever wants maximum. Everybody is very quiet and very sweet. Everybody wants only minimum in life. When you don't have a job, what do you tell to your employer? Minimum hundred rupees, I will not join trade, trade union also. Hundred rupees, nothing more. Because you don't have a job. So the fellow says hundred rupees. After two months, what do you say? Hundred rupees? Two hundred? You know, these days everything is so costly. Two hundred minimum. It's not maximum. Minimum. After six months, 
I am coming and going by cycle, that takes away time, I have to go by bus, 200 rupees for the bus, ta- bus fare and another 200 rupees salary, 300 minimum. Have you seen anybody remaining satisfied with the salary anywhere in the world? Nowhere. Nowhere. Salary, dowry, huh? <laughs> charity. The people who are begging continuously in life, nobody remains satisfied with something. If somebody gives you little importance, why not little more? If somebody gives you little love and affection, why not little more? Little attention, why not little more? You know, it becomes, every time you want little, minimum. That is where you go on creating your problem. Apata vairagyavata mumukshu. The person who is desirous of freedom, but still holding on to something or other inside. Like they tell the story of a, a great renunciate. He is living inside a hutment. And he had only two pieces of cloth. Upina. Then one day, he saw, discovered, the rat is coming and eating that, you know, cutting that little kopina, loin cloth. So one person who visits him, he said, Maharaj, can I get you a cat? Then he said, yes, I think that's right. This kopina must be protected because or else, how do I, what shall I do? Bring the cat. The cat was brought. When the cat was brought, every day he has to be supplied with milk. A cat wants milk. Then every day somebody has to come with milk now. Now the milk, another admirer comes up and says, you are really struggling for milk. I'm giving you a cow and a calf. Yeah, that's right. Cat has to take the milk. So cow and a calf also must come. So cow and calf came. And the cow and calf came, now the poor thing is responsibly increased. Then another person said, you cannot look after it. I'm sending you somebody who shall look after the cow and the calf. So he sent somebody cow and calf, and usually, who has the time? You can't put male people, because they have full time, they cannot come. So female attendant came to look at the cow and calf. After some time, the renunciate got involved with the female attendant. <laughs> because when somebody goes on coming up and down, proximity drives you crazy. So naturally, you become involved with that. Then comes the baby, then comes the samsara, the whole thing. And ultimately for what? There is a Sanskrit saying, Kopina Sangrakshanartham Ayam Ghatatopa. All this arrangement only for protecting the Kopina. I don't have any other want in life, you know. I have to just protect my Kopina. My loin cloth. Sounds very beautiful, isn't it? Poor thing has absolutely no desire of anything of his own. Only loin cloth. But around that builds a whole world. Are you getting that? Same thing in life. Apata vairagyavata, meaning, I know you come for this knowledge, but you still think for something else. That this, this will do, or that will do, or that will do. Vairagyavata mumukshu, he says, and such a person with this type of weak dispassion wants to cross bhavadhiparam pratiyatu mudyatan. He is ready, Udyata now ready to pratyatum cross bhavabdhipara, the ocean of samsara. Such a person, very difficult, he cannot cross. Why? Asagraha majyate antarale nigruya kanthe vinivartya vegat. Asagraha, this crocodile of a desire, this crocodile of a dependence, the crocodile of a definite like and dislike, Remaining secretly inside, Jayate Antarale. Antarale, secretly within, residing, staying. This definite like and dislike of a crocodile, Nigruya Kante, holds you tight and puts you again and again into the ocean of samsara.